Hi friends, in this episode, I'll take you through the easy steps to get a bountiful harvest of carrots by growing in recycled plastic grocery bags. I'll demonstrate this using two early maturing carrot varieties, which have become my personal favorite. I have a game for you at the end, so make sure you stay around to play. And finally, I also provide tips to guarantee a good harvest throughout the video, so stick with me as I break it down. First, fill a medium sized grocery bag with a good soya mix. I normally use a mixture of 60% garden soil, 20% compost, and 20% river sand. Soils that are high in organic matter or stones causes carrots to fork where rats heavy clay restrict the growth of the roots. If the garden soil is high in organic matter or stone, you have to sieve with a porous net or basket before using. The height of the soil in the bag should be at least 12 inch high. You may have to increase this value if growing bigger color varieties. After filling the bags, Keep them in a sunny area since carrots prefer lots of sun. Now, water the soil mix thoroughly to ensure even distribution of moisture throughout the soil. Then, create holes at the bottom to allow for drainage of excess water. Once the soil has settled, use your finger to create holes that are about half inch deep and about two inch apart. Some people recommend broadcasting the seeds, but you waste more seeds if you do that. The approach shown here ensures good plant stand without wasting lots of seeds. Once the holes have been created, pour carrot seeds on a piece of paper and drop about 3 seeds per hole with the aid of a toothpick. Cover the seeds with a thin layer of the same soil mix and water lightly. Once planted, Cover the surface with a thin layer of mulch before pulling the handles of the bag to cover it. Place a small stone on the cover to prevent the wind from blowing it off easily. As indicated earlier, I'm using two different carrot varieties which are the Chantinay Red Cord and the Non Supreme. These take about 70 days to mature. I'm going to keep the identity of the carrot varieties in each bag anonymous. We will see the differences once they are harvested at the end of this video. Seeds will start germinating after 7 days. You can open the bags and remove some of the mulch at this time. By day 20, the seedlings would have grown big enough for thinning. Remove the weaker seedlings, leaving about one or two seedlings per hole. At 30 days after planting, you can loosen the soil a bit if it becomes too compact. You can then apply banana pea fertilizer or any fertilizer that has higher potassium to promote root growth. By day 40, the seedlings would have grown appreciably. You can apply more banana pea fertilizer directly to the root. On day 50, if the tops of the carrot roots are protruding out of the soil, you can add more soil to cover them up to prevent these exposed roots from turning green. You can also prune off some of the leaves that fall directly on the soil. Now is the time to give the carrot another good watering. Talking about watering, you have to ensure that 
you have to ensure that the carrots receive adequate moisture throughout its growing period. Never leave the soil dry out as this will affect root expansion and result in smaller carrot roots. By day 60, the carrot would have grown more leaves, but the root would also have started bulging too. You can spray the leaves with potassium nitrate foliar fertilizer to boost the root development. The best time to spray is during the early morning or late afternoon. When the plants are about 70 days old, they will finally be ready to harvest. Other varieties may take about 90 days to reach full size, but you can also start harvesting smaller carrots around this time. To ensure that the carrots are always sweet when harvested, you can reduce the watering a few days to harvest. Now, it's time to find out which bag has which carrot variety. Let's play a game. Can you make a wild guess and predict which carrot varieties are in bags 1, 2, and 3? It's difficult to tell by just looking at the tops. We can only find out by digging. Let's start with the first bag. You can harvest by cutting the side of the bag before pulling out the carrot. However, as you will see later, when I harvest carrot from the other bags, this is not absolutely necessary. As you can see, it looks like the first bag was planted with Chantinay red cord carrot seeds. These are shorter than the other varieties, but has good flavor and taste. Let's check out bag number two. As you can see, these are longer and slender than the carrot from bag number one. Therefore, these are the non-supreme carrots. And now, onto the final bag. Do you think it to be Chantinay or non? We see that bag number three also had non-supreme carrots. Did you get any correct? How many bags did you predict correctly? Let us know in the comments. It's important to always start with quality seeds from a trusted source. Carrot seeds lose variability easily, so it's best to use fresh seeds every season. Finally, when the two carrot varieties are put side by side, you see the clear differences between the two. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button to show your approval and subscribe for more of our content if you are new to this channel. Have a good day. Until we meet again, it's adios.